everyone, I am Isa. Uh, my topic today is about coffee. Uh, in 2016, uh, coffee statistics from the National Coffee Association show that 50% of Americans are uh, equivalent to 150 million people drink coffee daily. And, and the average consumption is like 3.1 cups of coffee per day. 65% uh, of all coffee is consumed uh, during breakfast hours. And how many of you don't drink coffee? I don't. Just one? I don't. I don't. And how many of you like drink more than one cup per day? You? Okay. It's like... It's like more than 18% of us like drink coffee at least one cup per day. Uh, uh, for me, I drink at least one cup per day for more than 10 years. And the reason why I drink coffee are because it helps me with like routine of my bowel movement. And another reason is it keep me awake during the day. However, I have been living in Loma Linda and this city is considered as a blue zone and with like long live and healthier of residents because most of them are seven days Adventists. They are eating healthy food and follow the recommendation from the Bible, such as um, what food shouldn't consume and coffee is like one of them that you shouldn't eat because of that. I tried to stop drinking coffee. And you know what, what happened? I found myself facing with like headache, fatigue, tired, and felt sleepy for a whole day. I couldn't cut down my coffee intake at all. So I would like to share the information about coffee that I found with you today. Um, I mean, I Google it and I found something that I would like to share, uh, which are about <coughs> what coffee does, what coffee does to your brain, and what is the best time to drink coffee. So I I would like to begin with the first topic: what coffee does to your brain. Many research um study have examined what coffee affects the brain and its function. Um, the potential effects are mainly related to caffeine. The caffeine in coffee acts as a mild stimulant to our central nervous system, which depends on the level of intake, okay? And we know that caffeine, like, help us to keep awake and alert, but how does it work? You know, uh, whenever you awake, the chemical called adenosine slowly accumulate or store in the brain. That slowly. And actually cause drowsiness. You see, it starts it starts attached to the receptor and you start drawing it and then slow down your brain activity. It's like the more adenosine there is, the more tired your brain feels. <laughs> and which makes sense because adenosine regulates your cycle of sleeping and waking. Uh, adenosine stimulates signals that tell your body this is time to rest and sleep, you know? And the longer you awake, the more feeling fatigue you become. And conversely, uh, while you are sleeping, the concentration of adenosine declined uh, gradually and promoting wakefulness. So it's like it's time to awake now. Uh, but it turns out like this, the caffeine in, in your coffee 
is similar to is similar to adenosine. You know, the structure is similar to adenosine. Uh, the recovery goes through the bloodstream into your brain, and that where it is work. I mean, where it starts to complete and bind and bind the adenosine receptor. So instead, the adenosine will attach the receptor. The caffeine goes to that receptor. And what does it mean? Because it's not adenosine, you know, the sleepiness effect doesn't occur. Did you see the face? <laughs> uh, meaning, you will feel, you will not feel tired. Instead, caffeine increases brain activity and making you feel more energetic and less sensitive to uh, your body natural rhythm of the sleep or wakefulness. Uh, however, the long term of caffeine, I mean the long term use of caffeine, your brain responds responses by creating more adenosine receptor, which means more caffeine is required for the same response. Okay, it is also mean when you are trying to quit or missing the daily intake. So you might experience with withdrawal symptoms like I had headache, fatigue, feel sleepy, like that. Uh, so this kind of like the idea. So I would like to move to the next topic. What is the best time to drink coffee? Uh, we all have an internal biological clock. It's called circadian rhythm mm -hmm. or body clock. No? Uh, that regulates many functions in our body, such as um, when to sleep, eat, uh, when is the best time to go to the restroom, something like that. Uh, and moreover, it um, controls our body to release cortisol hormone, which um, related to to our alertness through the day. Okay, and cortisol level is peak allows eight to nine a.m. Uh, that means your body has a natural mechanism to wake you up every day. And scientists recommend drinking coffee after cortisol level reach the peak, which are 8 to 9 a.m., 12 to 1 p.m., and 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. So the best time of drinking your coffee is outside of those time, okay? Outside, not drink this time, so drink other time is the best. And for early bird, whoever wake up like early in the morning, um, scientists says um, 30 minutes after you awake, the cortisol level will increase 50%, which means it's better to wait like one hour after you awake to drink your first coffee. Oh, I mean, the first cup of your coffee. So that is like idea. What is the best time to drink coffee? So to, to conclude, I already shared the information about coffee, how does it affect to our brain, and what time you should drink it. And I hope those information will like <clears throat> will help you understand more about coffee. Like, like it helps me. Uh, like, like it helped me manage what time I should drink it and like how I can avoid addict to it. Okay, thank you.